Hey there, folks. Slash Raptor here. So we beat Cerebulon, Destroy of Worlds, and um, I went ahead and did some some purchasing with my my battle points. Uh, it turns out I had not even close to the right amount to unlock uh, Rapchos or Zorgulon or any of the cool stages, but I did have enough to buy the best mini game that this game has to offer. We'll get to that later, though. First, I want to show you what else we did. So now there's Adventure, which we've done. Free for all is pretty much the same as Adventure, except you can just, you can customize it and have different rounds. Well, not not the best one. Endurance is kind of cool though. They they uh, it's basically um how long you can survive. Let's go with Praetor since it's already selected him, and we'll go to Sunopolis because when you're doing endurance mode, you get the worst stages available. I would love to do this on the uh, San Francisco esque stage, but uh, you can't do it. So basically, it's um, as soon as you lose once, uh, the thing's over. If you crush enemies with buildings, it doesn't count, even though it should, because it counts in every other thing in kind of game mode. Um, so I'm going to be going up against Kineticlops first, it looks like. Praetor's special is awesome. He barfs up this parasite thing, which just does all, all kinds of damage. And then while it's in there, you can beat the crap out of them even further, which will do even more damage. Um, against bosses, this is even this is this is just as effective. Um, but it's easier to do it against a smaller enemy because they move around and you can get behind them and you can yeah you have a better chance of making it hit them. Actually, that's probably the other way around. The, the bigger bosses hold still, so it's easier to get them. But those the big bosses that hold still are usually the ones that you can't really physically attack. Like uh, Cerebulon, he, you don't really physically attack him. Um, it, it works pretty good in his first form and his third form, though. Is this the one that comes and crushes you? No, one of the buildings does, though. I know that. Come back here, you big eyeball thingy. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. I will catch you, and you will be my eyeball, and I will call you eyeball. Path in the kissa. Rah. Rah. The hard part about this is catching them, because they'll take away all of the stuff you need to survive in the level. They'll, they'll go and hog all of the health, and they'll go and get rid of all of the cool hiding spots, and they'll go get rid of all of the... Things that are really good to have when you're um, when you're trying to survive for a long time, and then you don't have them for the for a little while until they respawn. So I got this kineticlops down, and the UFO's here. You can still use it, but you have to be able to hit him like last time. Okay, so Magmo's up next. Let's barf up the parasite and get this bastard with four arms. Now, I can't really catch him, because he left too fast, and I just wasted a whole bunch of health. That's always nice. So let's just hit him with some heavy attacks and see what happens. Looks like that building's going to come and crush somebody. That one might not crush anybody either. I know so I know one of them does. It's usually one of the ones that's on like the edge of the, the sand or the beach, too. This one might crush people. We don't want that, though, because, like I said earlier, if, it, if, if you do crush somebody, it doesn't count, even though it should. Uh, I missed you again. You are really just going out of your way to be a bitch to hit, aren't you? Take that, asshole. Impaled with your own pole thingy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Die, 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 die. Uh-oh, that's the one that's going to crush me. Ah! No, no, no. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Holy... Man, that was close. Did you see how close that came to crushing Agamo? See, I don't care, because I hate Agamo, but, um, he's a kill, so if I if he had been crushed, I would have been kind of disappointed, because that would be one less thing I can do. Move. There's, a, there's an oil tanker here. Mine. Can't have it, see? Path. Now you're going flying, and you're on fire. You're on fire, see? Path. 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 Don't you path me back. It's my job to be the one to, to kick your ass. Pow! And he's dead. He's, he's all kinds of dead now. I got... Oh, what? Come on. Die like a man. Now he's dead. I don't know. I guess I just did some... It was just... I guess, guess I was just doing really good, so they gave me a boost in energy. Which just made me think I was getting my, my kill, but I didn't have it. As evidenced by the fact that he was still alive. Okay, now I'm getting kind of critical here. I gotta find some health, and I have to find it now. And I'm having a hard time doing that. Oh no! Come on, come on. Get this thing, get this thing, get it, get it, get it. Get him, get him, get him. 
Yeah. Ugh. Die. 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 See ya. Ah -ha. <laughs> That's pretty close. Hey, this thing. This this will. Oh no no no! Don't use it on me! Ah! <laughs> Pain must ignore pain. Ah. Okay, now I gotta find some health. Um, still, but the special's up there, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit, having a bit, bit more luck here. I don't know where there's gonna be health. There's some here. That's not enough though. That's not even health. What the hell is that? It's glowing, but it's not health. Huh. That's just a whole bunch of unhelpfulness. That's what that is. Ugh. That might not even kill them at all. Oh, he got me. That asshole. Stupid Togura. Well, we got a good bit of battle tokens from that. So, um, we'll save it up. And, uh, let's plug in a second controller port. And then you can... I can show you Big Shot. You can't play Big Shot unless you've got two players. Or two controllers in, because for some reason you can't, they didn't feel like programming the CPU to play along with you. So let's quit for now, and we'll go play uh, Big Shot, which I think is the last thing I can show you guys in the uh, in, in this season, because there's not much else to do. Because, um, like I said, Free For All is pretty much the same as all the other games. Excuse me. No, it's not. We did endurance. Uh, back, uh, two-player uh, mini games. And big shot. I'm gonna be Kineticlops 2. Kineticlops is a good one to use in this game, in this mini game, because he's easy to see. Another good one is um, Magmo's fourth costume, because it's he's on fire. It also looks really cool. So the point of this is to use your 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 running dash off this ramp and land on those buildings. And depending on how well you land, you'll get points. Hard part about this is oftentimes you'll press the thing. The, the combination to do it is up up triangle, I think. It usually doesn't do anything, and then when it does, you're probably facing this way, which still counts. If nobody scores by the end of, I think, three turns each, then you have to fight each other on top, and whoever knocks each other off uh, is the winner. Let's jump, 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 jump! Oh, plaak! That didn't go very well. Now it's this guy's turn. And yes, I'm playing both roles here. Up up triangle. Up up triangle. Woohoo! Free sir! Oh, that was a ripoff. It was so close, and yet he was so far. Some of these setups are a pain in the ass. Others work pretty good. Um, the one that works best is the one that's the most obvious. You can you can tell from the start of it that it's going to work really good. That was lucky, by the way. Usually that doesn't happen. Usually once you you, you run, you run. You run. Woohoo! The the part that's really dumb about this is you can't steer. You have to aim, and then just shoot. You have no idea how you're going to land there, because sometimes, even when the thing is at its highest, you'll you'll go really low. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a dumb. Have um, if this ramp held still, it would have worked a lot better. And if you could aim, almost as if you were shooting a cannon. Oh, that was ro I was robbed. Oh my god, come on! Can I just scored like one point, man. Come on, big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, and whoa! That didn't go any better than it. the other one. Ooh, I still get one more chance, I get one more chance. So now let's cue on a little bit of cheesy inspirational music, followed by a cheap Back to the Future quote. It's always fun to do those two things in a row. Ready for the quote? Here it comes. Here it comes. Wasn't that fun? So now I just gotta beat the crap out of this guy, and he'll go flying off the roof. Woohoo! Uh, 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 uh. Yes, I win. <laughs> well, that's all the time I've got for this episode of Game On. Hope you enjoyed watching me play pretty much everything there is in War of the Monsters. Stay tuned for the next episode, where we will be doing the review in a brand new way, which I think is a lot better than the way I've been I did it last season. And after the review viewer is going to be one last episode, which will be a special bonus episode. However, I will not appear in that. So the next time I will see you guys for this season would be in the review. So until then, peace out, and game on.